with E3 2020 officially being canceled. What can the ESA do to keep this thing up and running going past 2020? Well, we're going to go over those things right here. Stay tuned. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Before we get too deep into this episode of The Medicine, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason why. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the thing, y'all. Um, E3's been canceled. COVID-19 has run amok everywhere as far as people's um, heightened concern and regards. NBA has been suspended at the time of this recording. I mean, things are just getting crazy and people are concerned. You know what I mean? Um, and this isn't a surprise because after, you know, PAX East was hit the way that it was and GC, G, GDC was canceled, we knew that it was just only a matter of time. E ESA was trying to hold on for dear life, but, you know, um, they're getting too close to the time that it was going to reveal uh, or is going to air. Um, it was getting too problematic to just wait too long um, to just cancel this thing. We're getting too close to it. So a lot of people have stated and said and suggested that because this is going to be canceled and in lieu of that, people are still going to want to show their products and services as it relates to gaming. They're going to do digital shows. And if those digital shows are successful, then that spells doom and gloom for E3. Because the theory is, why would I pay $8 million a week or whatever the going price is to the ESA to lock and load up in their quote-unquote smelly convention center, you know what I'm saying, dealing with all the nerds, when I can just do this and be equally as successful? And I kind of get the gist of that, but um, the problem with that line of thinking is that EA cre uh, e E3 rather creates an atmosphere of all the simple fact that you see gamers all in one place you see the execs and the developers in, in in that same place and they're all interacting with each other it seems organic in a way that you can't replicate over just having showcases you see what I'm saying I don't care how well the showcases are people get put on the spot ask tough questions if somebody's curating their own digital show, you don't get all that. So it doesn't feel, again, as organic. So you're going to see success, but I don't think it's going to have the impact that'll be beneficial to the gaming industry that they need that is produced from, an, from a, a E3. Think about it. After an E3, even with the casual market, they may not watch E3 instantaneously like we do, the hardcore, as the shows are airing, but all that news trickles down for weeks and it spreads to the casual and it helps mold their gaming decisions going forward, right? And I don't think having an individual showcase does that. It doesn't create the buzz. It doesn't create the, the, the consistent pings and it doesn't have the cascading effect to the casual. So in lieu of that, to help save E3, even though recognizing the need that things might have to get more digital, your boy MM2K is <laughs> giving some suggestions that I think may work. And again, I think they may work. I'm not the all seeing eye. I think this is a good start. Let's bounce it around in the community and get your thoughts, maybe add to it. And hopefully it'll help, you know, settle the ESA on what they're going to do ongoing to help save E3 in the future. So I think what they should definitely do is they should work to go more digital. If you want to have people there, great, fantastic, but you're going to have to cap the number of people that will be there, okay? And you're going to do this because people people roll in groups. So I think you should have the press there, definitely. Anybody that qualifies as press, definitely have them there. You got to have different tiers of press. You got to have the main press there, you know what I mean? And I know people want to say, oh, it's not fair of M2K that IGN or Giant Bomb, all the big wigs get to go, but the little people, guys don't, look, it is what it is. And the purpose of this conference, not only now is for business to be done, but for information to cascade down to the normal Joe Schmo. And we just got to keep it real. 
if you if you're the little guy you don't have that cascade power so you gotta you'll you'll let the publishers developers in and the main entities in and then after you get those people in then you have the remaining slots that you'll fill up with the smaller uh news outlets right you, i think you do a lottery with them all right or you go you either do a lottery with them and you go by the most popular sites you know what i'm saying with them okay then after you've selected them then finally the remaining slots after that as far as occupation you give to the public and you do a lottery for that and people people travel in droves right so you allow people to sign up individually or you allow them to sign up as groups because here's the deal if my plan is to go to e3 and i'm rolling with a crew you can't give me a ticket and then my other seven you know crewmates don't come i'm not going to want to go in a lot of cases you know what i'm saying so you let people sign up in droves and groups and all that other stuff and you roll a lottery in that okay and you gotta cap the occupancy you gotta cap it you gotta be a little bit more serious about capping it okay then i think on top of that um you do like a media day where it's just media so they're, they feel comfortable right now people may say well if you're doing a media day mm2k why are you capping it i'm saying that because the press wants to be there past the media day it takes them more than a day to cover a lot of ground so in addition to that you have the extra days the media can go there well, what about the joe schmo that can't make it there that get them because they're capping it and they're having lotteries and all this crazy stuff what about them that's where i think you throw in the digital access to cover that ground and i think what you could do is do a few things to make those that can't be there live and in person still make it a worthwhile and even better experience than it is now for those that just watch okay i think what you should do is do like a digital pass you know and uh allow gamers to first and foremost get special access to demos like they are on the showroom floor right and what you do is you give them access to the publishers and stuff like they are on the showroom floor via something called webex if you don't know what a webex is it's a conference it's a business conferencing tool but i'm pretty sure that they can work with webex because it has wide reaching ramifications uh, they can work with people like web at webex or someone similar an entity similar to where people can buy these digital press passes and get access to their favorite publisher developer whoever that's giving them quote unquote one-on-one -on -one time and talking about their product and service and also showcasing it too via this webex demo you know what i mean and that'll give people the special feel the special attachment to all their favorite games all their favorite entities you know at the same time while esa reaps the benefits of it you know and they can split the profits with the uh the developers themselves or however it may be that way it's a winning proposal for everybody people still get to come on the showroom floor press gets to get uh, gets to be there and move freely and those that can't be there physically still get to have one-on-one -on -one experience with games and their in um digital uh conversations and, and meetings and stuff like that uh with their favorite publisher and dabs i think it's a winning proposal for everybody but those are just my thoughts and my ideas again that's it from your boy mm2k who cares what i think let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below and if you did like what i had to say check the links below to follow me those links will lead to the broadband bullies pnts network hard knock digital culture and yes here the stadium dosage and with all that being said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace